Hello, this is Chad. Today I'm going to show you how to test your doorbell system using a multimeter. Now, you don't need an expensive multimeter. I picked up a, a cheap one that I'm going to use in this video from Amazon, and it works just, just great. And uh, let's, let's start by testing the transformer. So you want to flip this dial to AC, and there's a V. I can't, don't know if you can see. There's a little wave. That, that's the symbol for AC. So we're going to turn this to 200. It only has two settings. And since it's low voltage, we want to put it on the 200 on, on this particular meter. And we're going to uh, test the transformer. Now I'll throw a link down to this meter in the description. Now you can see that this is pushing out 20.8 volts. Now this is a 16 volt transformer and it's actually doing 20.8. That's fairly typical. Most transformers are gonna do higher than what they're rated. And this one happens to be doing uh, 4.8 volts more. Now, so that's good. That's doing just what it should be. If you have an older doorbell or an older home and the transformer's old, well, you could be below that 16 volts. And, and you probably want to replace it if it is below the 16 volts. Now we're going to test it at the doorbell. And we're going to see what we get here. So we're getting... 20.6. Now, there's going to be a slight loss from the transformer going to the chime, going to the doorbell. Now, at your home, you could have, this is such a short distance in between here and here. So, at your home, you could have a, at least a, a one volt drop from here to there. Maybe a little bit more. And that's, that's normal because the longer your, your wires are, the more your voltage will drop. So it's just the length of the run. And uh, so that could be a potential problem too. If, if you're only getting six, 16 volts or less here, um, that could be an issue if you have the Ring Video Doorbell or the Nest Hello, or any of the video doorbells. If you have just a normal button, well, you're in good shape because it doesn't care that it, the voltage is that low. So if you do have a Ring Video Doorbell Pro or a Nest Hello, and you, you're having problems with it, uh, chances are it's because of this guy right here, the chime. So now I'm going to show you what happens when you ring the doorbell button. So let's hook up our test leads on the transformer and you can see we're getting 20.8 volts. Now I'm going to push the button, hold it in. Now this is exaggerated, but you can see that that's dropped down to 13 volts at the transformer. So you know that that's gonna be a little less at the actual doorbell. So if you have the Ring Video Doorbell Pro or the Nest Hello, well, that, that's going to be a problem for you because you've dropped below the 16 volts needed to run it. But that is exaggerated. The Nest Hello, Ring Video Doorbell Pro do a better job of only letting a second go to the doorbell of, of that power. So it's only going to ring it for a second. Whereas, you know, when I did it, it was really exaggerated. But that shows you how the voltage drops. And that is going to cause you an issue with your doorbell. So at that point, you're either going to have to look at replacing your transformer, putting in a bigger one, or you're going to have to bypass your doorbell chime. I have other videos that show you how to do that, that you can look at. Now, 
Well, that's enough about that. So let's say we tested our transformer and we weren't getting any voltage there. So that said zero when we touched it. Well, then we know that we've got a power issue going to the transformer or the transformer is bad itself. And so how we're gonna test that is we're gonna, technical difficulty there, we're going to test the power coming to the transformer. So green is ground, white is neutral, and black is uh, line voltage, or it's the hot side. So I'm going to stick my test lead in the wire nut, and you have to make sure that you fully pressed it up there and it's making good contact, else you're not going to get a voltage on it. So same with the white one, I'm gonna stick the other probe in the white, and now I'm testing both. So we can see that we're getting 120 volts to the transformer. So if this was reading zero, well, then we know we've got a bad transformer, or if it's less than 16 volts, then chances are we've got a bad transformer. Unless we're using just a regular doorbell, then you could probably go down to about 10 volts and be fine. But if if you're using like, uh, you know, one of the video doorbells, or if you're getting zero off of this transformer, it, it means it's bad. If you have 120 volts at the transformer that's feeding the transformer, which we did. And just wanna make sure, you, you gotta make sure that you're making good contact in there. Because sometimes if you just press it in like this, uh, I'm not making good contact and it's showing zero. So you really want to make sure that you're touching actual metal like that, or copper in this case, and, uh, and you'll get the voltage if, if you know, it, there is voltage there. So if there isn't, then we know that we got to look at a circuit breaker or we've got to look at another outlet that may not be working. Uh, it could be that this is tied into a GFI um, and that's tripped. Or it's just, you know, the, the breaker is either bad or uh, it could be tripped. Uh, there could be a lot of different reasons. Anyways, that is how you test uh, the doorbell using a multimeter. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.